Hello and welcome to this answer video. In this answer video I'll be talking you through the answers for the worksheet to make a whole as well as some of the trickier bits to do with this skill. So for question one we have to complete the fractions and join them to the correct representation. Now the first thing to do is notice that the denominator, the bottom number in the fraction, is missing. So that bottom number, the denominator, tells us how many parts the whole thing is made up of. So you can see in each shape there are five equal parts. So that's going to help us put in those missing numbers because we can match each one now to the numerator, how many parts have been shaded. We know the bottom number is going to be five. So A has one, two, three, four parts out of the five shaded, four fifths. B has three parts of the five shaded. So it matches to three fifths. C has two parts shaded, so two fifths. And D has all five parts shaded. The whole thing is shaded, five fifths. For number two, we need to tick the image which is equivalent to a whole and write the fraction for each representation. So if we look at A, A has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight parts that make up the whole. So it's eight as a denominator, that's the bottom number. And there are seven parts shaded in. So seven eighths. B, there are also eight parts. So that's a denominator of eight again. However, this time there are only five shaded. So it's five eighths. So far we don't have a whole because not all eight parts have been shaded. Having a look at C, there are six parts to that shape, which that makes the denominator, and all six parts have been shaded in orange. So it's six sixths, which equals one whole. For number three, we're asked to use the image to complete the sentence. So two somethings, add and something somethings make six somethings. So we've got two yellow bars shaded. We need to know how many they're all together to make the whole, the denominator. And there are six they're all together. So two sixths are yellow and then there are four sixths remaining. Still the same total amount of parts but four of them are green, two of them are yellow and together, two sixths and four sixths makes six sixths. Number four asks us to circle the two fractions that make a whole. So they're all in sevenths. So we know we're going to need two fractions in sevenths. And what we need to find is two numerators that add up to make seven to make the whole. So there we have three sevenths and four sevenths make the whole. Those are the two fractions that should be shaded because together four sevenths and three sevenths make seven sevenths. For number five we're told Ewan and Millie are sharing cookies and together they eat seven sevenths. That's the whole pack of cookies. Seven sevenths make up one whole. Seven parts of the seven making the whole. How many cookies could each have eaten so we need to make seven each time using a systematic approach to the answer. If Ewan had seven, Millie would have had zero, still making seven as a total. If Ewan had six, Millie would have had one. If Ewan had five, Millie would have had two. If Ewan had four, Millie three, making seven each time. If Ewan had three, Millie would have had four. If Ewan had two, Millie would have had five. If Ewan had one, Millie would have had six. And if Ewan had zero, Millie would have had all seven. Question six asks us to find which pair is the odd one out and explaining the answer. So let's look at A. You can see three fifths has been shaded. And then we have two fifths on the other bar. So three fifths and two fifths make a whole. Let's see if that's true for B and see if we can spot any pattern. 
For B, we have five sixths, five parts of six have been shaded. And on the other circle, one six. So five sixths and one sixth make a hole. So again, it makes the hole just like A. Let's see if C makes a hole. For C, we have three sevenths shaded in the first one. And then in the second representation, there are three sevenths as well. Three sevenths and three sevenths, that makes six sevenths. So it's not a hole. C is the odd one out because it doesn't make a hole. For number seven, Nasi and Evie are discussing the statement below. Who is correct? So something sevenths add something sevenths equals six seventh sevenths. Now, Nazir thinks all the missing numbers are odd, and Evie thinks the numerators are greater than zero, but less than six. Let's try Nazir's statement first. He thinks all the numbers are odd. So I could put five and one in there, five and one being odd numbers. That would make six sevenths. But I could also put three and three in, both odd numbers. So, so far, that works. Three sevenths and three sevenths add six sevenths using odd numbers. But what about if I had four sevenths add two sevenths? That makes six sevenths. And there, even numbers. Four and two are even numbers. So Nazia is incorrect because both odd and even numbers can be used. And Evie is correct because it has to be more than zero, but less than six to make sure we have six sevens. The numerators have to be greater than zero and less than six because together the fractions make up six sevens. So that was an answer video tutorial on making a whole. Hope you found it useful. Remember, you can watch the linked video tutorial for this skill over on kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk or you can practice this skill with loads more resources over on classroomsecrets.co.uk.